Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Oh, yes, are you? Droids and androids. The countdown has begun. So fit your restraining bolts, strap yourself in. And remember to turn your phones to the dark side. No, are you? I didn't know he was in this either. May the source be with you. For it's time to launch Star Wars. The umpire strikes back. The universe has fallen into slavery under the control of the evil umpire, with his tyrannical grip and formidable forehand. From his base on planet Wimbledonia, he punishes all who break his rules. But a new hope is dawning. Pursued by the umpire's sinister agents, Princess Nebula races through the galaxy on a mission to restore freedom to the universe. Dot, dot, dot. That's it. No, that's the end of the dramatic introduction. There's no more. You can stop now. Stop. Stop! It's a heart for heart for those who 
Passing by As we race around the universe There's a place we want to be It's a home for home for those Who want to run across the galaxy With the warmest welcome waiting there It's a golden guarantee There's a place in space for everyone Junction 51 Junction 51 Junction 51 It's a heart in the stars 51 Star Trickers to our humble commode, Junction 51. I'm Darth Data, and while my nephew Luke services your ship, please perish our Star Wars. We've got special offers on spacesuits and blue milk. Sad cows. These are Romulan roses. You can't. They're Romulan roses. Here you are, Romulan rose. These are cosmic crystals. You can't. No, they belong to Photon Phil. Just force it. Now follow us to the bathroom. I call it Thunderwear! Bog off! Pardon? Buy one, get one free, dear! How much is a cup of cosmic coffee, Amiga? Great, let's all get a decapitated coffee. Decapitated coffee? Yes, there's no head on it. Follow me. They're not for sale. I never ever talk about it. Oh, go on. All right, then. I remember just like it was yesterday. Cheer up, Denny Boots. Be a good boy for Mum's Andrew and your blue milk. Those spots are getting worse. Don't worry, Denny Boots. I called the doctor. Doctor Who? No, no, My Diddy Denny pays! No, he's just got green socks. So I called the doctor. I'm all trying to sleep. 
before, actually. Wait his document, it's time to take off. Hooray! Come back soon! I wish I was on it too. I'm on a feature. It's no good to stargazing, Luke. I think you won't just fall out of the sky, you know. This is my star! I think a spaceship just crashed into my bedroom. Look, did you read the landing light on again? Don't be Darth Vader. I wonder who it is. Maybe someone really important, sophisticated, and intelligent. Or Will Smith. <laughs> Princess Nebula Oregano, sorry for the mess. We were chased by space rangers, so we thought we'd drop in for a break and crash here for a bit. I'm afraid so. Where am I? Well, if there's a price center to the universe, and it's boring dump furthest from it. Ash Burton? No. Junction 51. Great. A space station armed with photon blasters and a force field generator. More of a service station armed with stale sandwiches and a broken coffee machine. <coughs> That's Crotin, my android. He's damaged, but he's harmless. I'm also completely legless! You should cover your head. How do you feel? Shattered! My head flew through the windscreen, my knees went through the sunroof, and my foot headed up in the boot! Well, that's you all over. Come on, we'll get you fixed. Huh, I think I need one of these. A what? A facelift. <laughs> How long will there appear to take? Oh, be very quick. And rehearsals usually finish just about now. Thank the maker. I've like a new droid. I'm most obliged, so look. I'm sure one of his parts is still broken. I'm not sure which. Oh, madam, you are a heavenly beauty. A vision of loveliness. Eyes. And it's my very own droid. Are you one to? No, I'm human. <laughs> no, it's a name my droid. Are you one to? No, she's your person. Look, I was introducing him to the princess. Are you one to? No, I'm not a princess. I'm just Starf Ada. Hello, are you? I'm Nebula Oregano. What's he doing? He seems to regret the public space message. Nebula, this is a message from your parents, Basil and Saffron Oregano. If you're receiving this, we are falling into the clutches of the evil umpire. But all is not lost. You can still save us. Get help from Toby Wonky Nosebleed. Toby Wonky Nosebleed is your only hope. Toby Wonky Nosebleed? Who's he? Sorry, dear. We can't answer questions. We're just a recorded message. But remember, Nebula. Wherever you go, you will always carry us with you. And Nebula, it is absolutely essential that you never, ever... 
Sorry, love. The tape's run out. Mum, Dad, come back. What's, What's going on? I've just come from planet Wimbledonia. And do you know who lives in Wimbledonia? The Wombles? No. It's the base of the evil umpire. No! Yes, he's been making whole galaxies disappear. No! Yes, this necklace is all that remains of my galaxy. I stole it from him. He must be stopped. We'll help you. He does have top of your I'm afraid he's programmed with Wikipedia circuits, so you can't always trust everything he sees. Donald Trump is a genius! See? Yeah, well, you can't just go searching the universe randomly shouting, Did somebody call? Ah! What are you doing there? I've lived here for 42 years, Ada. Hiding, watching, waiting. Bit creepy. I knew this day would come. For it is written in the stars. Sir, are you Toby Walking Newsblink? Ah, do you of us truly know who we are? Are you Toby or not? Toby or not Toby? That is the question. Just yes or no? All right then, yes. Then help me, Toby Wonky Nosley. You're my only hope. I shall help you indeed, Nebula, for it is written in the stars. And Luke Warmwater shall join us on our mission. Really? Yes, for it is written in the stars. No, in the script. Scene one, page nine. Well, to fight the umpire, we'll need a rebel army. And the power of the source. The, the source? source? The source is an energy field created by all living beings. You will learn the power of it from the greatest master of it. Yoga. Yoga? Yes, yoga. He lives on planet Pilates in the Tai Chi system. Then we need a fast spaceship and a cool captain. You need a fast spaceship and a cool captain, right? Yes! A captain who is fearlessly daring and very snug and gorgeous. Yes! Well, have no fear. I'm here. Hooray! My ship's parked outside. And this is Nigel. He's my first mate. I'm his only mate. We fly the Millennium Penguin. The Millennium Penguin? But that must be your... Zach Solo! No, Nigel. Not Zach Solo. Zach Solo. But I don't understand, Captain Solo. I know you must be finding the temperature so confusing. How can I be so cool and so hot at the same time? No, how did you know we needed you? Actually, Mum, I have no idea. Perhaps it was written in the stars. Yeah, man, nice big action. It's the source. It flows right through me. He's got the same problem with chicken vindaloo. <laughs> oh, you said it's time to get going. It's nearly the end of the sea. Well, it's time to burn some rubber and hit the road. But is the Millennium Penguin fast? The Millennium Penguin? That's the ship that made the school run and listened to our passings. I rap on fighters, starships, and even my grand mobility suit. It's got torplets, concussion missiles, fluffy dice, and cup holders. Cup holders? Wow! Why, this ship is enigmatic. It's aerobatic. Part aquatic? Why it's a millennium penguin? Track, there's no 
turning back, so let's get into gear, get a show on the road. They can fly at the speed of light with our senses on overload. Destination a million miles away, celebration and now we're on our way. We're going on face trips, face trips, down like a shooting star. We're having a ball, we're on face trips, face trips, blazing the trail so far. We'll give it our all, we're on space trip, space trip, wondering where we are. But we know, we know we'll never ever stop.
strangers have landed, sir. Craven audience? What do they think this is? A space musical? Beam them up, Spocky. Aye, aye, sir! We have space rangers from Star Command. Roger! Oh, uh, and. <laughs> ow, Jamie, ow. And what news do you bring, space rangers, Roger, over and up? Rumours are right from the revolting rebellion. Rallying, revolt and rebellion rebels. Rallying, ready to rebel and revolt. Rebellion? Well, if they strike your game, this is madness. They can strike if they like. But be warned, the umpire strikes back! And says the umpire strikes back. Umpire! We also spotted someone on your wanted list. But they crashed into the small space station. They're all down to left, sir. Please stay around the neck. Sir, so Princess Nebula pinched your ball. And you rotten rangers, let her go! Sorry, Mr. Vampire. Umpire, umpire! Stick it up your jump tire! Space rangers! Show some respect for the records that you have been thrown off the high tower. You can't do that! We're 30 feet up! Higher! We're 30 feet up. We're as high as deep centipedes. A dead centipede? A hundred feet in the air! All is not lost, for I sit from the source that Princess Nebula is alive. Alive? And she carries the galaxy with her. I will offer a reward for her return. Eh? He wants his galaxy, so he's put a bounty on the princess. I hate galaxies and bounties. I prefer a speed. I still prefer a speed. So, are you in? No, I answer. <clears throat> well then, Roger. Will you take on my mission? Sorry, it's over. Over? It's not even starting! Great strangers, this is an intergalactic emergency! An intergalactic emergency? Well, why don't you say so? Space Rangers to infinity! And a little bit further! We have the princess and the galaxy by the end of the show. And soon she'll learn when you cross the Empire! The Empire Strikes Back! <laughs> Darth Data, Darth Data, I have something to return to you. Darth Data, it is the Doctor. Well, let me know what develops. You have to take the spoon up first. Just give me a ring in the morning. Try Kai. You're crackers. It's just a nasty bug going around. It's just a guilt complex. I've got some cream for that. Sleep in another room then. Well, that's just charming. Just shoot, I'm through. I just locked on target. I can't watch, I can't watch. Look up behind you. Great scope, they're everywhere. We're running out of fuel. We'll be no price for sure. Let's look up behind you. Too late, we're going to. Ah! What's happened? Oh, we were playing Supersonic Space Tech Mario Man Invaders. And Zach got us to line up again. Me? Stop arguing! We've got places to be! Now, ignition on! I think the fandom flagellator has discombobulated the demorphic dribbled up. Is that difficult to fix? No, but it's difficult to say. We'll have to go to the engine room and check under the bonnet. I can help! Don't worry, you're pretty little about it. This is man's work. What? That cosmic clock needs a great big bang! Nebula, <laughs> how did you do that? My parents told me to be an independent princess. Oh, Ada, will I ever find him? Will I ever see him again? I miss him so much. Of course you will. I miss my daddy, daddy, poos every day. But you have to hold on to your hope and your memory. 
Remember their message. You always carry them with you. You're right, Ada. That's why I carry this necklace. It reminds me of them. Of home. Of my galaxy. Listen. Can you hear it? It's the music of my galaxy. Every time I close my eyes, I see you shining like the sun. A million tiny stars aligning one by one by one. Wherever I go, whatever I do, I'll always remember you. You are forever in my heart.
Yeah. How about some in-flight entertainment? <laughs> oh, you think it's just a thing? An ancient episode of Life in Space. Oh, the Alien Wildlife documentary by David Adams Slitter. David Adams Slitter? Wow! Well, what are you for, are you? Roll the film! <laughs> In the vast emptiness of space, we discover the universe's most unusual alien life form, the big bottomed booby bird. She struts around her territory, cleaning, searching for food, and delicately pruning herself. Her white image indicates this is a dominant female of maturing years. Soft, sullen, and wrinkly, she appears easy prey. But thanks to a high fiber diet, she's always able to deter her predators. When I was sitting at the net, nature has provided her with two huge advantages her unique natural scent and her distinct facial features, reminiscent of a baboon's bottom. And for the first time, we're lucky to hear this creature's unique mating call. This female cannot find a mate, and with a voice like that, I'm not surprised. Wait, she's noticed others in her nest. Keen to assert her role as the dominant female, she attacks and bites their heads off.
Are you humanoid? No, I'm human and annoyed, so. Yeah. Diddly squits, pass me the humanoid phrase book. We are the diddly squits of Oxymoron and we are Spice Evaders. You mean Space Invaders? Diddly, diddly, diddly. We. Insurance is fertile. Resistance is futile? Diddly, diddly, diddly. We come out floaty side plate. Flying saucer? Diddly, diddly, diddly. Take us to your Simon Cowell. Leader, take us to your leader. Zeke, word me, pompous, self important, bossy bloke. Never mind, be right the first time. Great book quality. Must have absorbed language shelves for better communication. Did you just say to my gas, huh? No, we only had a few uh, bites. We had a diddly squid of oxymoron. I am Commodore Nintendo, Chief Squid, and these are my little squirts. But why do you need to invade? Don't you have a planet of your own? Our planet, Oxymoron, has vanished. Why don't you join us? We're gonna strike against the Empire. Stop his evil plans. Save the universe. And Oxymoron too. What do you say? Diddly, diddly, diddly. We've been captured by the Space Rangers. Nebula! We're aboard their ship on the way to Wimbledonia. Nebula! You must come and rescue us. <laughs> Nebula! And we'll raise the rebel army to strike against the Empire. Nebula! Oh yes, I think Ada has something very important to add. Help! Was that it? Yeah. Help us, Tony Walkie Nosey. You're our only home. Poor Mistress Nebula. Great Scott! Luke, you must be in down to planet the Pilates at once and meet Lord Jogo alone. We'll follow the Space Rangers and meet you on Wimbledonia. And the diddly squits will help too. Diddly squits, prepare to drill. Oh, my God. 
Yoga will see you now. Lord Yoga, your apprentices have assembled in the boardroom as the princess. Much obliged, Diane and Jomla and Alfie Santori. So, young hopefuls, apprentices you wish to be. Yes, Lord Yoga. Learn your words, the ways of the source. Yes, Lord Yoga. And like me, a powerful jellyness become. Well, a bunch of spaced out space cadets, you lot are, failed your source exams, did you? Most disappointed, am I? Sorry, Lord Yoga. Yes, potty you are, glaze you look, and fired you will be. Yes, Lord Yoga. One final chance you have. Perhaps one of your lumps of clay will surprise me, and a Martian urn become. Bucks a week. Now go into Squatting Poodle and give me some arms. Yes, come in, you must. Lord your guy am, and most welcome you are. Uh, er, you thank much, Fury, I do, I think. The umpire you seek. Young warm water, rescue your friends you must, and save the universe you would. How would you know my name in the entire plot of the show? No much I do, for it is written. In the stars. Oh yes, Sagittarius. Today we meet a boy called Warm Water. He seeks the young guy, wants to reach his friends, and save the universe. Lucky number 49. Beware of walking under ladders and pop plants called Gordon. <coughs> Why is it by Sigur? Between you and me, I think Gordon's in lots of love colour. Between you and me, I think Gordon is... Dead! Dead? Why is he so mad? Man sure he is. I was just after him. Gordon, talk to me! Just be a not young warm water. For bring back Gordon, we can. But that's impossible. Nothing impossible is with the power of the source. You have. Strong the sources, with a light side and a dark side, holding everything together. Like 
Jeff said. Exactly! Behold! The source! Lord Yoga, it's glorious, it's ginormous, it's... It's green. Ah, yes! Many forms the source takes in warm water. Jellyness Master Heinz discovered he did 57 varieties! Apprentices gather and you must and understand better, you will. Going through the galaxy inside of you and me, you'll find the what? mighty universal force. Tell me more! Anything impossible is possible, of course, when you learn to squeeze the sword. I don't mean ketchup, gravy, hollandaise, no mustard, mint or mayonnaise. Tabasco, brown or bolognese, they don't have the force. Anything impossible is possible, of course, when you learn to squeeze the sauce. Flowing through the galaxy inside of you and me, you'll find a mighty universal Can I learn to squeeze the sauce? Ah, learn you must, young warm water, and learn you will. Apprentices, cross galaxies, they want to seize my expertise and folk like these grow yoga, please. And you have to squeeze the sauce! Like one, two, threes, and ABCs, you'll learn with ease. It's just a breeze, so bend your knees at 10 degrees. And like to squeeze the sauce! Now squeeze! Ah. Just squeeze! Ah. Yes! Please! Succeed, you did! Hooray! Flowing through the galaxy inside of you and me, you'll find a mighty universal force. Anything impossible is possible, of course, when you learn to squeeze the I don't need ketchup, gravy, hollandaise, no mustard, mint or mayonnaise, tobacco, brown or bolognese, they don't have the force. Anything impossible is possible, of course, when you learn to squeeze the
behind me. I'm dismissing my little Luffy. You know, I even miss all the homemade robots. R2D tour. Far too see through. <laughs> The racketeers of the key and the door, but it's stuck. Great, it's a broken keyboard situation. Broken keyboard situation? <coughs> That's it, I hacked the door's computer code. Luke's the biggest computer geek in the universe. Oh no, there's two keyboards. I can do it with a little dongle. <sighs> you should have gone before you came! Surely a geek like you could use two keyboards at the same time. That's stereotyping. I don't even know the last number of the code. Well, what's the umpire's favourite number? Ten is. Ten is. Ten is. Do you? I'll <laughs> data. Yeah? You're a genius. Over. 
A sleepover? <laughs> wow, well, why didn't you invite me, you selfish umpire? Give over, over. You can't push the umpire over. You'll make him cross over. He'll flip over. He's got rules he can't bend over. Sees a polite voice over. These unusual space rangers are unique in the universe, managing to go about their daily lives without a single brain cell. I thought you said voice over. Must get the young class attention. Do you still have those moves and Yes, but I don't think they fit me anymore. Just send a ray of distress call. Bank holiday! Bank holiday! It's Mayday, Mayday. Mayday, Mayday! They're not trying to run the shrink into each other. Ah, uh, crazy joy. Mayday, Mayday! It's not responding. What should we do? I'll have to tell them first. Oh, look, way up this way. Let's go! Lord Yoga, what are we doing here? Assemble we must for the final scene! I mean battle! But, we must have one more going underground. Then use the source we should to show the way. Apprentices, squeeze hard you must. Yes, Lord Yoga! Look, a sign had just magically appeared. Way up this way. Let's go! Rachel, quit the saxophone. You'll let you know who. The evil umpire? What did you say? Just then. You mean? The evil umpire? Now, do I'm the cool one. I get to say the dramatic bits. Dramatic bits? You mean? The evil umpire? You're doing this on purpose, you infuriating verbal. I want to say that bit. Oh, go on then. You mean? The evil umpire. <coughs> oh, I'm terribly sorry, sir. I was light years away. Now, where are we? Are you? Scan the area. <laughs> no signs of intelligent life and very little atmosphere. We must be an expert. <laughs> oh, look! Way up this way! Let's, Let's go! go. Wimbledonia! I've never found a more rigid, rigid hive of scum and villainy. And I've been to Auckland! <laughs> ah! Have you all been to me? What's it? Is your money? Not only is he near, I know he's getting for Christmas. Wow! I thought there's prisons. And speaking of prisons, here's one for each of you. Wow. These are bling blades, weapons of a jelly net. Deadly, powerful, and great fun at discos. They must be powered by a form of thermoactivated Gilbertian crystals. No, double A batteries. <laughs> then these bling blades come on, Mosley. You mean real life centers. Life savers! I said life savers! Oh look, way out this way! Let's go! Me too. I need to boldly go where no man has ever gone before. Yeah. The ladies! Don't worry, I'm the first aider. No, I mean I'm trained first aid, second aid, Lucas aid, and mouth to mouth assassination. Whatever your injuries, Ada will kiss it better. Ada will kiss it better. Ada will kiss it better. 
Let's go! Yeah. 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 Get 
so bad as you are. I took her back across the lands all about those you get up in court. Can you ever forgive me? Do this, Alba. I think you're excellent. And so I'll start with Sada and so Oh, I don't think so, love. I reckon there's going to be at least three prequels. In the sequel, not to mention the merchandise, teachers, yo yo, musicals, and the underwear. Sada, Timmy, Nina, first. Actually, I think it's excuse me. Um, Doctor Aiden, I think this. I think Daddy's going to do the blue milk again. Oh no! Not again! Stop!